Those are your papers, more of them a little bit later, the time now. 6.53, do you believe in ghosts? Or any things that uh, go bump in the night in the house? The shelves you put up last week falling off the wall. <laughs> it would be in mine. <laughs> yes. A group of paranormal investigators in Stockport think they've come up with the equipment that can prove or disprove paranormal activity. Nick Ravenscroft is out there to give it a test. Morning, Nick. Morning. Good morning. I don't know what you believe in, whether you believe in ghosts, whether you believe in the paranormal, but this is just a normal terraced house in Stockport, but it's also the headquarters of this group down here, Club Zero, a ghost group, a group of, uh, I think they describe themselves as amateur enthusiasts, but they've designed some new equipment. Let's have a look at it just around here. Now, this is a series of lasers. Uh, I think it's fair in saying that you could probably buy them uh, without any kind of special license. I think you could probably get them in a DIY store, to tell you the truth. But you can see some of the guys here with other bits and bobs of equipment. Uh, this particular equipment, I think these are for measuring electromagnetic fields. Uh, nothing particularly special about those. You might find them in industry. But if we uh, just have a look at the TV screen here, as the cameraman just moves to one side, you can see those fields uh, being measured. The, uh, those are lasers coming out of that first piece of machinery we saw uh, being picked up by this camera, which they've adapted. Chris, just uh, stand up here and come and, have a, come and have a word with us. Morning. Good morning. Look, this is all um, kit that you have helped bring together. Where did you get it from? Where did you get the idea? Well, the laser concept was... Uh, given to us by uh, a good friend of ours, Paul Rowlands from Paradox. He's uh, an inventor who lives in Chester. And the lasers, is, is a, his idea, his concept, and we've used them twice now, and uh, some good results with them. Just while we're talking, let's have a look at a, a clip of uh, you guys in action at, uh, is this a haunted house? The, it's a Welsh castle in Wales, um, with the, the trigger objects that move in, so it's, uh, that's a, it's a very good piece of clip. And you're all standing around there uh, you know, asking uh, spirits to make themselves evident to you. I mean, what kind of success did you have? Well, that's right. Uh, I was filming at the time, and when we look at the clip, there's we actually see light anomalies that are moving around, which wasn't visible at the time. There wasn't visible on video. There wasn't vi visible by uh, by eye. But when we played the uh, the clip back, we could see them. Just in a nutshell, do you accept though that many people will be completely unimpressed by this and we'll say at best it's crankery, at worst you're just a charlatan trying to pull the wool over people's eyes. Well indeed, we know that people have different beliefs. There's believers, there's sceptical and we have to remain sceptical at all times. If we didn't, everything would be paranormal. We don't want to intrude on anybody, anybody's beliefs, uh, you know, disregards, anything like that, but uh, we are hoping to try and prove afterlife. Chris, thank you very much. Well, I don't know about beliefs, but certainly in terms of scientific fact, there's not a great deal of it here in Stockport, but I'll let you make up your own minds. Back to you. Thank you very much. We shall. We shall. Good thing for trying. We know who to call. Da -da 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 -da. Goosebusters. <laughs> Goosebusters. Goosebusters. <laughs> Still to come here on breakfast. Disabled access all areas. In a special report, breakfast <clears throat> puts a rock festivals to the wheelchair test. That's come. Now we're going to join our news teams across the UK. Goosebusters. Goosebusters. Goosebusters.